the Chamberlain's Leather Milk. Uh, this is a healing balm for any of your leather. Let's say you have any dry, cracked leather, scratched leather items, uh, especially your couches. This is the product to be able to use on that. Um, just to go ahead and open the box, it does come uh, with a sponge to be able to apply onto whatever item you're trying to put it on. Um, it also comes with the container of healing balm. Uh, it does tell you kind of some care instructions as far as, you know, make sure to test a discreet area, you know, apply it gently onto le the leather item, either with this particular sponge or, you know, with your fingertip. Uh, use only as much as you actually need to be able to put into that leather. So this is not something that you're going to use a whole lot of. It actually only takes very, very little. Um, allow it to dry and then, of course, buff any residue off and then... And it's intended for any kind of healing, scratches, cracks, and then extremely dry leather. So this is leather milk, and I have a little bit of a leather bag here that I actually want to go ahead and show you what it looks like on it. So this is my bag, and um, you can tell that it's it's kind of got some cracks in it there. Um, and so I just want to kind of show this to you. So I'm going to open up the product. Uh, it is kind of a a waxy consistency uh, it's very oily and it does not take a whole lot so you're basically going to take your sponge and you're going to rub off any extra and then you're going to take your sponge and you're going to rub it into the item so here this is a very softer leather and you can see kind of the difference in color and if you can't because of the light I'm going to kind of move it so you can see what this color looks like so I'm just doing this one little area, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of hold it up for you so you can see the difference in the color. So this is the part that I've actually done, and this is the old part over here. So if you guys can see that, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. If you guys can see that, this is the new part, which of course is super shiny um, and looks really good, and then this is the old part over here. So I also want to go ahead and show it to you on a couch because I think that as well shows a huge difference. So let me go ahead and show you on a couch. Okay, so this is my husband's chair and we have not used it on this arm yet. So I just kind of want to show you, you can see kind of the cracks that are in this. And again, I'm going to go up and down so that way you guys can see the difference. So up and down just on one area. And then you can see the difference between the before and the after. Just looks really, really good. I mean, it doesn't have any more of those cracks. It definitely puts the shine back in. And again, I'm going to go ahead and just move it on down so you guys can see kind of what it does. Definitely brings the color back out in the chair. Um, which is what I really, really like when you have um, a particular item like this that is used quite often. What I can tell you is that these little sponges are best if you go ahead and hand wash them. So if you're wanting to go ahead and wash your sponge out, just go ahead and put it under some dish soap and then hand wash it. It'll actually last longer.